I bowen duwe puti once again we are in another beautiful chapter of grade 6 and that is chapter number 2 things around us and let's see what things around is all about before we get into this beautiful subject i'm going to do couple of experiments and the first experiment is going to be a very interesting one which is a, a very famous one also and we will find out what is happening in that does air occupy space let's get into that here you go so oh i'm touching the water and oh my god it's very cold today so let's understand okay this is my glass and i'm just putting my finger inside but i can't feel anything but let's see i'm taking a piece of paper i'm i'm going to play with that so it's nicely yes like that like that okay all right make it nicely and strongly okay fine i'm going to put that one inside the glass now and let me insert it very nicely go a little no 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 okay okay nicely going inside okay put it inside all right let me see whether anything is outside no nothing is outside i'm ready to put that and check the experiment oh my god so what i'm going to do i'm going to put that vertically without making any adjustment inside the water what do you think the water will come inside the glass or not will that paper get wet or not yeah see i'm touching the bottom of that nothing is happening let me zoom that more okay now it's time for us to take that outside right voila so i'm going to show you the paper now did that paper got wet you <laughs> think no that paper didn't get wet you see that one as per that experiment we came to know that air is occupying the space you never know that air is occupying the space when you're putting inside the glass the two fingers i did not feel there is something inside i definitely did not feel there is something inside but when i put the piece of paper and putting that vertically inside the full tub water the water did not go inside the glass because inside the glass there were air and air was occupying the space air is holding the space now look at this pen in your hand when you're taking this pen in your hand this pen is occupying a space and also it has a little weight like that when you are carrying your exercise book it is taking a place and also it has a weight just like that the air is taking a place it's occupying a space and also we'll find out whether the air got some mass also whether air got some mass also we're going to find out to find out i'm going to take you to the laboratory with another friend of mine let's understand that hi i'm jared and welcome to science demonstrations for young learners i have my hands full here because our big idea is quite interesting the big idea is that air is matter and air has weight science tells us that air is matter and air has weight so how do i show you that welcome to my scale i have a neat balance here that almost is balanced hey it's working pretty good i have two balloons and i want to show you that air has weight so i put air into them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove the air from one of these balloons 
we're gonna go with this one right here. So if I take the air out of this balloon and this balloon still has air, it should be heavier. Let's see if we can get this to work. Uh -huh. Okay, I've removed the air. It's slowly leaving the balloon. Whoa, it's swirling because I get a force <laughs> pushing on my scale. I'm gonna stabilize it just a little bit and watch the science happen. Wait a second, it's spinning. I'm gonna stop the spinning. Oh look, this is heavier, why? There's air in it. There's no air in this. Air, no air. Air actually has weight. It's heavy. So he concluded as that air is also got mass. We came to know that air occupying space and air also got mass. It's very clear to you now. Now, what is that mass definition from your book? It says, The amount of matter in an object is referred to as the mass of the object. Kilograms, grams, milligrams are some units used to measure mass. The international unit of measuring the mass is what? Kilograms. Now when you're going to shop and buying one kilograms of sugar, it has a mass of one kilogram and also it is occupying the space. The chair what you are sitting now, it has a weight. In kilograms you can weigh it. So it has a mass and also it is occupying the space. Now look in front of you, there is a chart over there. You're going around your house. What you're going to do? Observe your home garden or school garden and any other calm environment during the daytime. You will be able to see many things such as trees, animals, etc. Also you will hear many sounds. You will hear many sounds like bird is singing and the dog is barking and the cat is mewing. Not only that, you will feel the heat of the sun and the soft breeze. Do you listen to that? Okay. Now, you can list things around us from the place where you're visiting. Roam around your house, you can find television chairs, pen, and you can see air, everywhere the air is there. And you're going to fill this particular chart like pen. I have done it for you. It is. It has a mass and also it's occupying the space. The water, it has mass and it is occupying the space. Sunlight, mm -hmm, nah, it's not and it's not occupying the space also. You know that air, it is it has mass also, it is occupying space. Now there are 10 things that you are going to write and do it yourself. Good luck to you all. And I am going to meet you in another beautiful session. Until then, bye bye, take care of yourself.